Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, uh, taking a first look at Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, so, I haven't played this game at all before, I have played a few previous Fire Emblems. Uh, I have the, the Gacha game one, Fire Emblem Heroes I think it's called. Uh, and I have Fire Emblem Fates Birthright, which I played a tiny bit of and, and then it got gross and I didn't like it. It's got some really gross relationships that it encourages, and I was just not a fan of that. Mm. Wasn't about that. Wasn't about that life. I've heard that this one is, is is less gross about that sort of thing, so hopefully I'll be able to enjoy it a bit more. Um, yeah, I also got Pokemon Shield. I haven't played it yet. I've heard that the, the um, autosave can mess up your other save games on the Switch at the moment because of a bug, so I'm going to wait for, until there's at least one update on that before starting it. Uh, but yeah, Fire Emblem Three House, let's have a look. So yeah, Fire Emblem, it's turn-based tactics combat game. Uh, I have played Advance Wars quite a bit, which it's similar to, although it's, you know, more fantasy instead of modern warfare. Um, I don't know a whole lot about this one apart from, actually I know a few of the characters. I know that Leone is cute and trans, so I love her. Um, I don't really know the other characters beyond that. I think Byleth is the player character, maybe? I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, alright, cool. Uh, okay, I don't know what these things mean apart from the save files, but... Uh, let's see. Yeah, default should be fine. Uh, I haven't got any DLC or anything, just the game as it comes on the card. Because I actually got the card for this one. Uh, I guess I'll go for normal. I'm not sure why they didn't make it easy, normal, and hard instead of normal, hard, and maddening, but whatever. <laughs> normal. Uh, I'm gonna go for casual. Uh, Alright. I don't know what playing online does, but I, I guess I can try it. See what happens. Um, okay, we've got a little pixel friend running along the bottom there. Very adorable. Uh, it was cute. Okay, so we're getting some story by looks of things. Some, uh, some fancy anime cutscenes. Okay, so we've got, a, got an army of sorts. With, uh, Pegasi and stuff. I don't know who any of these people are. This video looks a bit more compressed than it probably needs to be. It's not too bad, I suppose, but I don't know any of what's going on here. It's a bunch of anonymous soldiers, really. I assume some of these people are recognisable characters, but I don't know anything about the game, so I don't know any characters yet. Okay, we got someone cute. You're cute. I don't really know what's going on here. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. Having a wiggly sword like that really makes sense. Hmm. Tell me, Nemesis, do you recall the Red Canyon? I don't. I don't know what that is. Oh no. He's 
gone now, mother. So that 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 guy killed her mother, or I guess so. I'm just not sure how that relates to the game, but I guess we'll see shortly. Maybe. Okay, we've got... Uh, is that the same person? I think so? She looks younger? Was it like a dream of the future or something? Are you talking to me? I'm confused. <laughs> okay, loading. Um... Okay, so this game is voiced, which is kind of cool, so I guess I'm not going to do my own voicing. It is most rude to interrupt a moment of repose. <sighs> Very rude indeed. Sorry. Now come to me. I wish to have a look at you. Okay, hello. I'm here. Select a form. Okay, so, yeah, this is Byleth, and you can choose how long you've been on HRT. You can... Adjust it based on how how long you want to have been on hormones, which I think is a pretty cool feature. Uh, Fire Emblem Fates did that too with Corrin, uh, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, but then it did some other gross stuff, and I didn't like it. But that part was cool. Um, yes, that is that is correct. That's that that's a hormoned up form. Formoned. <laughs> I don't know. I've not seen the likes of you before. Who are you anyway? I'm a cutie. Uh, I don't know if it matters what I pick. I mean, I don't think I'm a ghost or a demon, but I guess I'll say I'm a mortal. I see. Then you must have a name of sorts. Go on. I'm just gonna leave it to say Byleth. Huh. I shall not ever grow accustomed to the sound of human names. You must possess a day of birth as well. Beneath which moon and on what day were you born to this world? Um. Oh, I see. Okay, so I can put in my birthday and a bunch of different. Okay, I see. I'm gonna find out my birth date now. That's it. That's my birth date. <laughs> I don't know what effect that has on the game. It seems we share our day of birth. Really? I wonder if she always says that, or if that's just because I happened to pick the right date. Hmm. It all feels so... familiar. I think it may be time for... yet another nap. It is almost time to... Hmm. Alright. Hey, time to wake up. Hi, Geralt. I don't know you. Dream again? Massive armies clashing on a vast field, right? Oh, there hasn't been a battle like that in over three centuries. Good lord. In any case, just put that out of your mind for now. The battlefield is no place for idle thoughts. Risking your life is part of the job for mercenaries. Okay, so I'm a mercenary? Letting your mind wander is a sure way to get yourself killed. Okay, time to get moving. Our next job is in the kingdom. I told you before, it's far from here, so we'll need to leave at dawn. Okay. Hmm? Oh, good grief. Everyone is already waiting for us outside. Gerald, sir. Sorry to barge in, but your presence is needed. That mercenary's name is Mercenary. How appropriate. What's happened? Please forgive our intrusion. We wouldn't bother you with a situation not dire. What do a bunch of kids like you want at this hour? We're being pursued by a group of bandits. I can only hope okay, that so you your name's Dimitri. Your bandits? Here? It's true. They attacked us while we were Oh, you're real god. I've heard of you. <laughs> You're very pretty. We've been separated from our companions and we're outnumbered. They're after our lives, not to mention our gold. I'm impressed you're staying so calm considering the situation. 
I... Wait, that uniform... Bandit spotted just outside the village. Damn, there were a lot of them. I guess they followed you all the way here. We can't abandon this village now. Come on, let's move. Hope you're ready. Okay, I'm guessing we'll have a bit of a combat tutorial to fight off the bandits. Um, file one, I guess. A skirmish at dawn. Prologue, an inevitable encounter. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna do some fighting against those bandits. Player phase. Let's take care of those thieves before they overrun the village. Take down the enemies in front first. That should take the wind out of their sails. Select a unit and then move next to an enemy. The unit is next to an enemy, the command move double open. To attack, select the attack command and choose a weapon. Okay, so I'm controlling Byleth right now, so I'm gonna just march up and attack, I guess. Uh, oh, I'm not controlling anyone yet. I have to select a unit. All right. Stay focused. Attack. Uh, I guess that's okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna do decent damage. Um. Oh, I can use special attacks while looks of things. Wrath Strike. Does it in one hit. I don't know if I should do that. I'll give it a try. You fought well. Looks like that was a good idea. But I'm not really sure. Weapon durability. A weapon will break when repeated use brings its durability to zero. You can fight with a broken weapon, but your might and hit rate will be reduced and enemies will make follow attacks more easily. Be careful with your weapons, you cannot repair them mid battle. Use the battling paint bookmark, save two tutorial guides and more. Track to press the A button when the cross on a space without an active unit. Once all units have taken action, the player phase ends and the enemy phase begins. You end the player phase early by the game from the battle menu. Okay. Um, I assume Byleth can't move again because, yeah, she's already been used. Can I control you? I can't I can't actually control Gerald, which is interesting. But I can control these three. I will prevail. Um well, it's got a bow, so I might be able to hit some distance stuff if I do if I play my cards right. Uh, you go there. Bows hack from long range. Yeah. Uh, not close enough. Looks like a spear or something. Enemy phase. Ally phase. Player phase. <laughs> All right. While protecting ourselves from the enemy, take up position inside the forest. Certain terrain will have effects on the unit occupying it. Forests, for instance, raise units evasion and defense. Move your units to advantageous terrain and prepare to meet the enemy. Okay, well, that, those tree-looking tree spaces are forests, right? Uh, I can't attack from there, apparently. I thought I probably could, but it doesn't look like it. Wait right there. Uh, yeah, let's get into the forest. Like this. Yes, good. If we're in the forest, we can sustain their attacks without losing the advantage. Forests are not the only terrain type you encounter. Keep an eye out for others such as thickets and heel tiles. Text term is a cursor of sex button and empty space total terrain information and new icons. Alright. Makes sense. I can get lots of options if there's other people nearby. Interesting. I guess I'll do that. Oh, little hearts went up when I did that. That's gay. I must have done the right thing. Opportunity. Use the combat arts I taught you. Do you believe like turn off follow attacks? 
and come out. Uh, combat arts are powerful techniques that use more weapon durability than usual. They do not typically allow follow up attacks. The units learn new combat arts and the weapon skill levels go up. There are no combat arts for reason or faith. Those skills grant magic instead. Alright. Guess that makes sense. Um. Should I have held back? Oh, little heart. That's gay. Oh, it looks like you can't attack at a diagonal, so I would have to just walk forward to hit that thief. It's probably okay, though. Heck now yeah. You know your Cute. I'm impressed. Ooh. Using items. Select the items option to change your attack equipped weapon or to use items such as the vulner Vulnerary, which restores your unit's hit points. Alright. I don't think I have any items I want to use right now. Um. Damn. Why are there mercenaries in the village? Guess we'll have to deal with them too. Oh no. Player phase. An item icon on an enemy indicates that you will get the item that is highlighted green. The unit's details display when you defeat them. Okay, so uh, you have an item. What is, it, what is it? What's the item that you have? Oh, they're axe, right. Okay, cool. Can I get into this thing? It doesn't look like it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you where you stand. Good luck with that. When an ally is nearby, and the enemy will be intimidated, making them easier to hit. All right. When you attack an enemy that is also in attack range of one or more of your other units, you'll trigger a linked attack. During a linked attack, your avoid rate and hit rate are higher than normal. Linked attacks from certain units will also raise might. Good use of linked attacks is key to defeating powerful enemies. Linked attacks will also build support among the units involved. Okay. That's cute. Hey, you kind of start diagonaling, that's right. Yay. I can feel it. Yay. Whoa, what just happened? What have you accomplished? 
pushing with that little stunt. It's like you're trying to get me killed, you fool. <sighs> well, it's fine. Huh? After all, if you don't know the value of your own life, you're not going to protect it very well, are you? Of course not. <laughs> I'm confused. Well, I guess it's up to me to guide you from now on, right? I guess so. You can call me Surface. Okay, but Surface. Surface. The beginning. Nice to meet you, Sothis. You're cute. Sothis. Yes, that is it. My name is Sothis. And I am also called... The Beginning. But... Who once called me that? I was not able to recall my name until just now. Weird. And just like that it came to me. How odd. That look upon your face. Did you think me a child? A mere child who forgot her own name? No. <laughs> that child just saved your life. And what does that make you? <laughs> Correct. You understand. <laughs> you threw yourself before an axe to save just one young girl. Yeah, I'm gay. Yet all is well, as I have stalled the flow of time for now. Actually, I don't know how old Edelgard is. Maybe I'm being weird. But I know Byleth and Edelgard are a popular ship, so I don't know. There now. Is gratitude so much to ask? I did deem you worth saving after all. Though it is only momentary, time has stopped. However did I manage that? I don't know. When time begins again, the axe will tear into your flesh, and you will surely meet your end. <sighs> How rude of you to drag me into this! Now Sorry. To do. Of course! I must turn back the hands of time! Yes. I do believe it can be done. You really are quite troublesome. I cannot wind back time too far, but all is well. You are aware of what's to come, which means you can protect yourself this time. Yay. Now go. Yes, you who bears the flames within. Drift through the flow of time to find the answers that you seek. Okay. A bit weird to do this in the middle of a battle, but I guess it makes sense. That's more like it. Hey, over here. So Hey, did you just The Knights of Seros are here. We'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. Hey, the thieves are running away. Go after them. Okay. The students seem to be unharmed. And Who's this? Uh, why him? Stage complete, yay! A skirmish at dawn. Connecting to the internet, I guess, for some reason. Yeah, save my progress. Like, thank you so much. Captain Gerald? It is you! Goodness, it's been ages! Don't you recognize me? It's Aloise! Your old Aloise reminds man. me of Seahawk. I like it. <laughs> oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You haven't changed a bit, Aloise. Just as loud as ever. 
And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary, one who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. Right. Goodbye, Captain. Wait, that isn't how this ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Garrig Mock Monastery. <sighs> I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? I guess I'm a bandit. <laughs> Great sense of humor, this one. Clearly cut from the same cloth as the captain. Nice. I'd love for you to see the monastery too. You will join me, won't you? So am I using sign language and stuff? Like, is Byleth mute? Because that's kind of cool. Captain, you aren't about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. The Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. So I stuff this in my head, or...? Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. I guess so? I appreciate your help back there. Your skill is beyond question. Thank you, Edelgard. You're an experienced mercenary. And your father, that would be Geralt, the Bladebreaker? Former captain oh, is that my father? Okay, I thought that was another joke. To ever live. Have I missed anything? How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garigmok Monastery. Okay. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. <laughs> Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely <laughs> predictable affects one's ability to wield power. This is power. cute. <laughs> Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me. Naive, tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. All right. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. I mean, it helps that I can sure, time travel. still have much to learn. <laughs> your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Oh, I have to pick one of them, Please, right? Do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa, there. You two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. <laughs> but it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well... Um, I feel like I should go with Edelgard's Empire because she's super cute. I'm, I guess I need to play the game more than once in order to try all these different paths. <laughs> A wise choice. Though the Empire has fallen from its former glory, the other regions are merely offshoots that pale in comparison. Alright, that's enough with the small talk. 
It's time to head back so are the other two offended that I picked Beetle like God or this up another time. My my, they are in such a hurry. You know, each of the three is most unique. Oh. Yeah, I guess. I have to think about all of them? Okay. Yes, I thought the same. Oh, I am so sleepy when she's here. No, no, it's so this. Oh, I may be sleeping. She's a sleepy baby. Okay, so... What next? White clouds, great tree moon, White three cloud. houses. <gasps> That's the title White of the game. Moon. Title drop. <laughs> the icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding cool. the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential. Just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. Okay. If you say so. The continent of Fodlin, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000 year old dynasty. They should have told me this before I picked, its border, so I have this information. The north is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodlin and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Okay, so... I kind of like how the three of them are color-coded. It's kind of weird the bile is the same color as Dimitri, though. I would have made Byleth, like, green, maybe? Hmm. Okay, so we got we got teachers. Ray is here. I don't know who that is. Oh, you look kind of familiar. Hmm. I wonder. Did the flow of time bring you here? I mean, yeah, that that the flow of time always brings people to where they are. Like that's how time works. <laughs> I know it's a reference it's to the whole time travel thing, but I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now. You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. 
As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My name is Sevik. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the Goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place, I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my <laughs> I child. I like how they're carefully avoiding mentioning, like, the child's gender in any way. My condolences. So they don't have to record any of these lines As twice. It's clever. I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. It also means, you know, you don't have to pick a gender for the character either, which was cool. You just picked a form, which is just how much hormones you're on. A fine name indeed. My name is Byleth. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officers Academy. You're welcome. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Okay. Uh, I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the office yeah, of the sure academy, did. right? Well, the academy just happens to be short of professors. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended... Oh, okay, so Rhea. I'm a professor now. So, Just like you that. must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. Okay. And watch out for Lady Rhea. Okay. I don't know what she's thinking making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Okay. Oh, it's you then? So young. How old am I? Confidence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officers' Academy. I wonder hey, if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit okay. so we can delve into the I don't know what a crest is. Further. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. Are you flirting with me? <laughs> I look too pretty for that line of work, do I? But yes, when I'm not teaching, I can be found in the infirmary. If you're ever lonely, please do come and... Yeah, she's definitely flirting with me. I would love to... Spare our wow. <laughs> chatter, Manuel. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. Title drop. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses of students. Composed each of, which of. Is closely not comprised of. With its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader Wait, so this year is Edelgard's Dimitri. house is black not, and not the next king red? Okay. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. 
Their house leader is Claude, grandson. It's not a good idea to split people up based on where they were born. Just saying. To think that the next emperor, king, and sovereign duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm. Quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings. Okay. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor. So my character a is a child. I don't know how old I am. Though. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. It's Flane. I beg of you, please <laughs> consider whether this is an unnecessary... A lot of cutscenes going on here. A lot they of cutscenes. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mock. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Okay, um, so that was a lot of cutscenes in a row without much in the way of gameplay. <laughs> I guess I'll see what happens next. I'm, I, I'm assuming I get to wander around the academy a bit. Since the game sort of said I would do that. Have a bit of a look around. The little violet spot is adorable. Oh, another cutscene. Okay. My goodness. God, I'm cute. I don't know any of these people. <laughs> Edelgard showing off. I guess it's just giving me an overview of the students right now. <laughs> that's that's quite the effect there. Okay. Okay. Exploring. While exploring the monastery, R stick move camera, mice plus button zoom in and out, B Y buttons hold dash. If you're ever unsure what to do next, look on the left side of the screen, your current objectives will be displayed there. Okay, so... Okay, so I can move around like this, I can zoom in. Okay, it's just, it's just one layer of zooming. You can go to here, or you can go to here. Pressing the button again doesn't do anything. 
Fair enough, I guess. Okay, so I can wander around the monastery and not really interact with a lot of stuff, it looks of things. I thought maybe I could look at these books and things, but it doesn't seem like I can. Hmm. I guess I'll accept the quest from Rhea. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? Yep. To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. Okay. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once yeah, that sounds fine to me. Come and speak with me. Uh, view I quest. A favor of you? Okay, so I get an iron, I get an iron sword and stuff. I don't know. So what they're really like before you become a professor. Oh my god. Informal introductions. Quests are tasks given to people around the monastery. Those who can give or involve with quests will have icons by them. Consult the quests menu so the quests you've accepted. The icons beside each quest indicate their status. Icons for essential quests are red. So is this one essential? I guess not, because it's not red. See, the game doesn't even know how old I am. Age question mark question mark. Actually, it does say gender female. That's interesting. I kind of thought they would avoid that because they made you pick a form instead of a gender to start with, but no, no, it actually does say female there. So there you go. I mean, I'm not too bothered by that because that's that's my gender, <laughs> but it, it, it is a bit of a problem for, like, in general, if they're going to, you know, make you pick a form instead of a gender and then give you a gender anyway. <gasps> There's Leone. There's Hilda. Marianne. Look at all these cuties. I don't know these people, <laughs> but they're cute. Oh, there's Dorothea. She's cute. There's Edelgard. I guess she's 17 right now, but I don't have an age. My age is question mark, question mark. <laughs> it's weird. Okay, um, let's have a bit of a look around, I suppose. Uh, we're coming up on about 50 minutes, so I will probably wrap up at, at about an hour in. Uh, but I'll have a look around, see if I can talk to anyone of interest. Ooh, hello. Pressing ZL changes the map from, like, a mini-map to a full area map. Uh, that was ZR, actually. ZL does this. It puts you in first-person mode. L, and L does nothing. R opens this thing, just like a more detailed map, sort of, I guess. I just scroll around and look at where people are. Also facilities, apparently. Okay, looks like people are down there in the academy, mostly. Except Edelgard, who was in the reception hall for some reason. Oh, that's it. That's cool. You can see exactly where everyone is, somehow. I don't know how I'm doing that, but it's a cool feature. <laughs> okay. Um, the menu there. I don't think there's anything of interest over here, right? Yeah. Let's all talk to these people. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor. Yeah, I was surprised. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but. They ran off during our dust up with the They? Rangers. Nice. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You I mean, that's the true. Of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Thank you. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Okay. Uh, do I just stand on the spinny thing, or do I just go through the door? How does this work? Yeah, I have, to, I have to talk to the spinny thing. That's weird. Minimap. The minimap in the upper right corner of the screen shows your current location, locations of important people, directions to quest givers, and more. Zoom or change the map view with the ZR button. Oh, wow. Lots of options. You can zoom it out like that. Or you can have a great big map like that.
Oh, all these people suddenly appeared. Okay. Hi, Rukad. Yes, I'm a new student. That's me. I'm not the professor or anything. <laughs> cat! Hello, cat! Hello, cat! I think the DLC lets you pet the cats. Um, which is a really compelling reason to get the DLC, but I don't have it, so I can't pet the cat. Cute. I guess I should talk to Edelgard. Hi. Hey there. Hello. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. Sorry, I Edelgard. I really introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbach. I am the princess and heir okay. to the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Oh, I see. I can ask about everyone. Can I ask about me? Because I don't know my own age. I think that'd be useful information. <laughs> me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. Look at a little tiny sprite where it says oh, it Noble. Little tiny Edelgard. Edelgard? Huh. <laughs> oh, okay, pressing X just zooms in on her face. And you can't, like, pan around or anything. It just, just does that. Uh, I guess I need to talk to some other people and stuff. Okay, here's... Oh, cutscene. Cutscene. Okay. Okay, that's um. Oh, I'm spotting a bunch of people. Everyone's in here. Okay. <laughs> and who's this? You don't look familiar at all. Do you work here at the monastery? Oh, mercy! Do you think this is that mercenary people have been talking about? Now yeah. that I think about it. That does sound like something Dimitri may have said. I suppose you'll be enrolling at the Officers' Academy too, then? Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Wait, her name's not pronounced Mercedes? Really? And who's this? Oh, mercy. Now I suppose, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Mercedes, and this is my best friend. Mercedes. I'm Annette. It's nice to meet you. Gosh, that cute. It's fire here. Uh, looking for cuties. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, Dimitri. Hello. Mm. Mm, I'm tired. I think I'll wrap up soon. There's a papa! We didn't have business here yet, but I wanted to see what was over there. Who are you? Oh, it's Jiritsa. Yes. Now go to the second floor. Let's have a look. Well, I've never seen you before either, so there. Um, can't open this door, really? It's kind of weird. I feel like I should be able to. There's people on the other side, according to the map. Can't go in there either. Hmm. The limitations on this monastery mode are a little weird. What happened? That's my dad. Manuela. 
There's the crest analyzer that that guy was talking about. Hmm. It's kind of weird that I can't open doors. Seems like something I should be able to do. Maybe they're locked, but it doesn't really indicate that at all. It just looks like I'm not bothering to open the doors. It's kind of silly. <sighs> Library? Yes, please. Let me in. Go talk to you to open it? Is that how it works? Welcome to the library. Here you may find literature... Th Thomas? Thomas? I am Tomas, the librarian. Tomas. If you have need of me, do not hesitate to ask. I have worked here for... Uh, uh, I have lost track of the decades, it seems. I still can't go in even though I talk to you. What the heck? Let me go in the library. I wanted to borrow a book. <laughs> I'm going to go through here to get back to the stairs. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Yes. A moment, please. Can I talk to any of you? No. Oh, more people. I am that mercenary. Hello. It's like this. Huh? <gasps> Leonie. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's cave. Hi, I'm Leonie Pinelli. Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who are you again? Look how cute she is. <laughs> um, hi, it's like this. What do you think? Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. Yeah, I'm that's me. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... <laughs> Marianne von Edmund. Oh, sweetie, Are you she's so anxious. The Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Thank you. I suppose you'd actually talk to the house leaders as well as everyone else. <laughs> so you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignaz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Okay. I will remember. What do you think? Yeah. Right, right. Oh, more people. More people. Uh. Broody boys. <laughs> okay. If you say so. Oh, there's Dorothea. Hey, sweetie. Well, now, you don't have a familiar face. What brings you here? Oh, my name is Dorothea. Before I joined the Academy, I was a member of an opera company in the Empire. You should hear me sing sometime. Yes, please. She's pretty. Thank you. I am Hubert, a humble servant of Lady Edelgard. 
I heard you're kind of evil. Hooky face. <laughs> you have my most sincere thanks. This is Petra. She has come all the way from Bridget to study in the Empire. Back on her archipelago, she is actually a princess. In Fodlin terms, she would be called heir to the throne. Hello. I am called Petra. I am pleased to be meeting with... Uh, no, uh, I am pleased to have met you. Cute. Are you checking each other out? Look at that. <laughs> Cute. Oh my goodness. What? I don't talk to strangers. Oh, Your baby. Dad, this is no stranger. Our house leader owes this person a great debt. Is that not right? I am Ferdinand von Eyre, legitimate son of the Eyre family, the Empire's foremost house. Are you going to join our class? I look forward to getting better acquainted with you. Oh gosh, that's cute. Need more sleep. Same. Oh, Should we go to bed hey. soon? <laughs> What's this? Can't look at it. It's kind of strange that you can't interact with a whole lot of stuff in the overworld. stuff. Why don't I know my own age? Seriously, that's so freaking weird. Notes. Year unknown, born as the child of Geralt. Don't know when that was. Like if you look at say the notes for Edelgard here, you've got you've got a birth date or a year anyway, but I don't don't have one, which is weird. <laughs> Dislikes outdated values. Nice. Little baby, little baby Bernadetta. That's Dorothea, very cute. There's Petra. I haven't met some of these people yet. So yeah, um, let's give some thoughts. I didn't get a whole lot of actual gameplay in because there's an enormous amount of just story stuff that happens in this game right at the beginning, which is an interesting decision. Um. I feel like this part of the game, this uh, monastery wandering around stuff, could do with a bit more interactivity. Like, you can talk to some people, but you can't talk to everyone. You can't sit on these benches. You can't, um... Right, right. You can't, like, read these signs and stuff. And I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Um... I feel like this part of the game should be as detailed and as interactive as possible. Uh, to you know, give it richness and flavor and give the setting more depth and that sort of thing. Um, so it's a little disappointing. Uh, the combat part seems to work fine. Like, I, I don't really notice a whole lot of difference between this game and the other Fire Emblems I've played, and those games are fine, so this game is also fine. Hang on, what's going on with my 
jacket. I have like sleeves, but I'm not wearing them. My clothes are weird. <laughs> Just noticed. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I, I assume I'll enjoy the actual battle stuff when I get into it properly, but I don't think there's a whole lot new there. I think a lot of it, the stuff that's new is probably in terms of like characterization and all that and having designed this uh, setting for happening between battles. But, you know, I'm just making a bit of an assumption there. We'll see, we'll see. Um, so, I'm looking forward to playing more of this, getting a better idea of how the game overall works, that sort of thing. Uh, I might pick up the DLC if I really love it. I might not, we'll see. Um, I'm, I am annoyed that the roster has a gender for Byleth, uh, even though you didn't pick a gender, you picked a form. So what they really should have done is fill in, can I make my point to go up there? No. They should have filled in the age and not the gender. Gender question mark, question mark, age 18 or something. That would have been better. I would have really appreciated that. <laughs> but they didn't do it that way and that makes me sad. Uh, looks like there's a lot of different, like, character advancement options that will be unlocked at some point, which look pretty interesting. I only have commoner at the moment, but you can see there's a whole bunch of different things I might be able to do. So that's cool. Um, Yeah, I don't know why I don't have an age. And I do have a gender. It just it doesn't make sense to me. There's Leone. Cute. 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 <laughs> Look at those little, those little sprites. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna, gonna hit save here. And yeah, I guess that's a bit of an intro to this game. It looks complicated, like everyone has a separate inventory and abilities and combat arts and battalions. I don't know what that does. I can reclass, but I can't do that yet. I have to unlock my classes. I assume that's sort of like the job system in Octopath where you can uh, give each character an extra class and it gives them different abilities and that sort of thing. Maybe it replaces their current class, I don't know. In Octopath, it sort of stacks, which is kind of cool. Uh, also, I believe a lot of other JRPGs have a similar job system. That's just the one I happen to have played that I could mention. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I guess that's about it for this video. Um, so far, I, I like it. Um, I do think there are some some things that are lacking that maybe the DLC fixes some of that. I know it lets you pet the animals. It might add more stuff that you can interact with besides the animals as well. So, you know, being able to read the various signs and books and papers that are littered around maybe is an option as well, which would be good. Um, a little bit disappointing that you can't do those things. I'd also like to be able to change my clothes if that's possible. I, I just like being able to customize my character in that way, but I have a feeling it doesn't let you do that. We'll see though, maybe it does. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time I'm probably going to take a look at Pokemon Swoosh. It, hopefully there'll be a, have been an update so I don't have to worry about the auto saves and stuff. Um, but if there hasn't been, I'll just have to make sure the autosave is turned off, I suppose. Um, I might just hit it right now and see if it... See if there's an update yet? Yeah, I didn't think there would be. It's worth a try, though. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.